India for a few more months and I want to take full advantage of mango season. So I'm trying three different fusion mango recipes. One, mango salsa. Two, mango sticky rice. And three, mango ice cream punch. First thing we're making is mango salsa. What you need is one red pepper, three mangoes, lime juice, one onion, half a cup of jalapenos, half a cup of coriander or cilantro, and then all you do, dice the red pepper, dice the onion, dice the jalapenos, cube those mangoes, chop the cilantro or coriander, squeeze the lime juice, and sprinkle some salt. And then get a big bowl and mix it up. Serve it with chips and eat it up. Nom, nom, nom. The next thing we tried was Thailand's famous mango sticky rice. Ingredients needed were one and a half cups of sticky rice, one and one third cups of coconut milk, one fourth a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of sesame seeds, three mangoes, and half a cup of sugar. The first thing the recipe called for was to soak the rice in a bowl filled with water for up to 24 hours. After that, we just cooked the rice as directed. Next, we served the mango, cut just how we wanted it, and placed it on top of the sticky rice. Now to make the cream sauce, all you do is take the coconut milk and the sugar and boil it for a few minutes until the sugar dissolves. And then, voila! Then you have the mango sticky rice sauce. Put it on top and then sprinkle with some toasted sesame seeds. And the last recipe I made is mango ice cream punch. All it takes is some limka and some mango ice cream. Scoop some ice cream into your cups and top it off with some limka. So, from the usual corner shake, nearly every restaurant this time of year has a mango smoothie, shake, or lussi on the menu. My personal favorite is the mango lussi. I use a basic recipe that involves mangoes, yogurts, sugar, ice, and a little bit of water. During mango season, this is a cold and refreshing treat. It's packed full of protein, and usually it's filling enough to even substitute as a meal. Today, to make the mango lussi, I have mangoes. I usually use about two mangoes, so I like to cube them and then use the spoon to scrape them out into my blender. Then I add a container of yogurt. If you're in the States, you can use plain yogurt or Greek yogurt. Then I add in five scoops of sugar. have fine sugar that's best because it blends up. I add just a little bit of water to help thin it out and about a dozen ice cubes. Then you're gonna put that cap on and blend it and enjoy. Thank you so much for watching The Surfing Violinist. Check out our web series, American Indian, the more polished documentary style reality show version of our family's adventures in India. New episodes each month. Support the show on Patreon to help us keep improving by clicking here and get to see new episodes a month in advance. Watch old episodes here. Also check out our other series, Holly Bolly here. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep it creative, keep it cross-cultural, and keep it constructive, YouTube. Thank you very much.